up until April this year, motorbikes and scooters didn't need a control technique for any of that roll intro. <laughs> Southwest of France, Departement says La Chorante. Right, we uh, rescued two chickens yesterday, two hens. Um, yeah, we found out uh, through a uh, through a friend that uh, of the owners of some chickens, their dog had been attacking the chickens and killing them. Now it's got a taste for blood, and uh, so we uh, rescued uh, two chickens yesterday. One of which we can't find this morning. So I'll have to look for a, a chicken. Anyway, um, thanks for all the comments yesterday on yesterday's video. People appreciating that I am speaking a bit more, a bit more slowly. I do forget. Um, but no, yeah, there were yeah, yeah, loads of comments. Uh, I do reply to them all, but the, but the way YouTube works on the phone is that it, it doesn't pick up replies of replies. You know, so if you have replied to a reply, I may not pick it up. Uh, so apologies for that. I took Lisa um, to her first horse riding lesson yesterday. Uh, she absolutely loved it. I'll show you that footage now. some amazing people at the stables. Sorry, the dog's on hyperlapse again. Some amazing people at the stables. Um, and there was a, you know, one particular lady and her daughter that, uh, that went above and beyond. And uh, she invited us to her, to her house in the afternoon to go and uh, pick up some, uh, some horse riding books for Lisa so she can become qualified to a certain level books that name all the um all the parts of the horse and the, the other stuff that you need to do it's above my head but um yeah we, we were just flabbergasted at the, at the at the kindness and it was lovely to see and and she also uh, gave lisa you know, the loan of a of a helmet because uh yeah that's going to be expensive you know so lisa when she goes to the stables can uh you can use the the locker um, that all her stuff is in, or her daughter's stuff is in, and uh, and help out. So yeah, it's um, it was just lovely. It was just really nice. So today I'm going to be taking Lisa to Rufet because she needs a pair of riding boots. So uh, yeah, I think the money tap's just been turned on, <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to film that. But uh, yeah, whatever next is, let's do that. I'll add a little bit of context to that video. So, here in France, um, motor cars, um, yeah, just like in the UK, his neighbour over there, um, have an MOT 
check for safety. Over here is called the control technique. Um, up until April this year, motorbikes and scooters didn't need a control technique. And now they do. The motorcycle community in France is not happy about that. So all over the country, I believe, uh, there are similar sort of uh, protests um, where loads of motorbikes and scooters um, are driving through uh, your towns and villages. Um, my view is um, motorbikes, they need to be tested for safety. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, hold on, this camera's doing my head in. It's going the wrong way. Um, yeah, they need to be tested for safety. Um, I just can't see the rationale as to why if you owned a motorcycle, you wouldn't want it to be roadworthy. Right, maybe I'm missing a point. Um, put it in the comments if I am. Um, but I think, um, yeah, I think it's a good thing uh, that motorcycles are, are tested for roadworthiness. Um, it's, it's one of the main reasons why I bought a brand new bike. I budgeted for a much cheaper second hand bike. And when I realized um, that there was a, uh, that there was no control technique on motorcycles. I thought, no, because you don't know what you're going to buy, do you? You don't know whether the person's you've done a bodge job um, in repairing their bikes, etc., etc. So that's why I went for a, a brand new one. Anyway, it's starting to rain. I'm going indoors. I'll see you later. Right, so that was many, many hours ago. Uh, so I had Cathy and Martin round uh, for the afternoon for a catch-up. Had some wine. Um, yeah, so a bit of an update. I found the chicken from this morning. Um, she was in next door's garden, uh, so she's done. And I just wanted to reply to uh, a load of messages around a VPN. So uh, I emailed, I texted the lady from the the charity uh, that passed on the bad news uh, regarding the issue of a, of a, of a VPN, because we have a VPN, NordVPN, uh, for our telly, anyway. It's not the best. It's, um, still can't get ITV. Um, so, even though it's set as an English VPN, it's uh, whatever ITV have got, uh, which is an English TV um, channel, um, it recognises it and, and then kicks us out. But uh, it's going to need to be like a network secure VPN, like the type that we had in the place where uh, it was pretty much uh, insurpassable. So it's whether they are prepared to be you're spending that type of money. Sorry, I'm laughing because one of the cats is legging it. Both of the cats are legging it towards me. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, yeah, she's going to raise the issue on Monday and, uh, and let me know. So, uh, fingers crossed, hopefully all is not lost. I'll see you tomorrow. Puss, puss. We're looking at what you looking at oh <laughs>
But I'm going to put a post out just so that you lot know. Just ask us anything. Your lease is going to be involved, but she's going to pop in and out because the kids, it's going to disrupt the kids and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I like doing the lives. Because um, you get people on there that uh, that don't comment on the main videos, but we'll, but we'll get involved in the lives. But uh, yeah, there's no particular subject matter. Just, uh, just a chat. So those of you that uh, have been following the channel for a while know that uh, Lisa and I love an Indian curry. So this morning we've been uh, binge watching Indian curry making uh, uh, videos and uh, we've got the ingredients and we've, we've you've written down what we need to do and then we'll probably uh, pop along to Limoges tomorrow to the, uh, to the Asian market to get uh, all the ingredients. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that. But uh, apart from that, don't know what next is, but whatever it is, Let's do that. It's much later on. It's, uh, it's nearly six o'clock. Just about to do the live. Um, yeah. Uh, hoping you have, you have that Lisa can join us. But it's, uh, of course, I've chosen the time that it's uh, time to put the kids in the bath and uh, yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, so let's see how this goes. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy is where we want it to be. It didn't come easy and it wasn't for free We came to France to have more fun And we did it with the help of a place in the sun A huge farmhouse with lots to do To help us we've lots of friends, not just a few Join us on our journey here in the Chirante We visit lots of places but not yet a Brocante You know? Hey, good girl. Let's go run, then Lamos, and back here. Q Slava. <laughs> Right, so back from uh, Limoges, uh, bought all the stuff, just had uh, a uh, the first trial lesson, which went something like this. Uh, maybe you can have one for two, Okay. since you, it's better, it's less expensive too. Yeah, so um, I, I need to order a, a couple of books um, and then get them read. Before the before the next lesson, but uh, yeah, she's going to do the same price um, for me and Lisa together. So yeah, she's not messing around with the price, which is good. I think it's about seventeen euros for uh, fifty minutes. But uh, yeah, so let's see how that goes. Anyway, I'm going to make a curry. Let's do that. The first time in years Got my feet crossed the border From a land of tears Ain't no way I'm going back under Got my eyes in the wild blue yonder Will lies be on the horizon Let's go find out
So, we've been to Limoges, we went to the Asian shop, we went to Leclerc, we bought all the ingredients, and uh, we're just waiting now, 40 minutes, for the uh, lamb vindaloo to, uh, to cook. Uh, we're going to add a potato, you, or two, because you need a potato for, for lamb vindaloo. Lisa's also added some aubergine, which went completely against the, uh, the recipe, but, but we like a, um, a lamb aubergine in the curry. Yeah, so fantastic live last night. Um, so points to note for next time, get Lisa a chair. Um, <laughs> but yeah, two hours, two hours um, we all sat there and chatted. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for everybody who got involved. Um, some people went off for the dinner or the tea and then came back again and we were still going. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for, for subscribing and um, laters.